Construction sites get messy. It's the nature of the job. Sediment is essentially dirt. And that dirt, especially on a windy day, can be dangerous to your health. That can um, impact people with emphysema or other, uh, other types of respiratory illnesses. It also pollutes rivers, streams, and lakes. According to the EPA, sediment is the leading contributor to pollutant to our waterways. We're drinking this water, we're utilizing it for everyday uses such as showering and consumption. And it's not just Jefferson County residents who are affected. Colorado is a headwater state. That means it supplies water to 19 western states. We provide a lot of water to those uh, areas for agricultural and municipal uses. So it's important for us to keep the water as clean as possible before it leaves the state of Colorado. That's why Jefferson County works so hard to keep construction sites clean. One construction site alone is going to degrade the environment. But if you compile this with the other 300, 400 that we have in the county, you know, it does take a chunk out of the environment. David Douglas is an engineering inspector. We might want to relocate that trash can so we have a, an accessible area for the guys to go in and out. If it, if it meets the same intent, they can use that. But for the interim, we probably want to have some type of downgrading protection employed. He visits work sites to make sure contractors follow the rules to control erosion. You may have seen these in neighborhoods under construction. They're called curb socks, jagged rocks wrapped in chicken wire. It's usually our last line of defense from the water entering or dir dirty water entering a storm drain system. Here at this new home, it's too late in the year to put in grass, so the workers install a temporary solution to keep the dirt in place. What we have going on right here is a Gator Guard product, which is essentially a sediment barrier and they're pinning it down to create a tight seal so nothing bypasses or undercuts this feature. The straw blanket on top traps the soil but allows the grass seed to germinate. Black barrier fences like this aren't the most attractive and can be confusing to residents who don't understand their purpose. That black silk fence is usually, uh, what is that? What's that for? Why is it there? And arguably, uh, it's, uh, it's there just to prevent the dirt from moving from one area to another area. A concrete wash area gives drivers a place to clean up at the end of the day. The concrete washout is essentially an area for trucks to wash out their vehicles after they're done pouring or pumping out their vehicles for a foundation or a sidewalk installation. Inlet protections with concrete barricades trap harmful chemicals like gasoline and oil. Not to mention everything else that co-mingles with uh, the nature of construction being liquid and other pollutants that can uh, infused with that water quality. Here's a violation, mud in the street and on tires leaving the site. One of the key components is tracking. Uh, we try to monitor the tracking coming out of uh, any um, access area uh, to minimize the sediment going into the curb flow line in the roadway. Um, typically residents can see uh, a buildup of mud or debris on their tire wells and that can go into their garages and be unsightly. It's a comprehensive process involving hundreds of county employees and many departments. We're providing quality assurance. We're looking at the overall big picture of a project. The grading permits are a little bit different our standard notes, and these are the installation details. And the private construction companies work hard too, enforcing their own rules to protect the environment. Our working relationship is a partnership, essentially. These rules have been around for the last 20 years, but we've seen an uptick in the last 10 years with more uh, developers and organizations and operators embracing um, standards for environmental controls as well as water quality. And homeowners can help too. Erosion control in your own landscaping projects makes a difference. Together, we can all keep Jefferson County clean. It's essentially a, a good work practice and stewardship of the environment for future generations. Thank you.